So now that you know how to count the number of degrees of freedom of a gas, you're ready to learn about the theorem of equipartition of energy. This is important because it allows us to calculate the internal energy of an ideal gas. So the internal energy is the total energy stored in that gas. What the theorem of equipartition of energy tells us is that each degree of freedom for a molecule contributes a half kBT to the total energy of a system. So kB here is Boltzmann's constant, which is equal to 1.381 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per Kelvin. So this tells us that the internal energy of an ideal gas is given by internal energy is equal to F over 2 times N kBT. So in this equation, F is the number of degrees of freedom, N is the number of molecules making up our gas, KB is Boltzmann's constant, and T is the temperature measured in Kelvin. Now, if rather than knowing the number of molecules, we know about the number of moles, you can use an alternate form of this equation, which can be written as the internal energy is equal to F over 2 NRT where the lowercase n represents the number of moles and r is the gas constant, which is equal to 8.314 joules per kelvin per mole. So for example, if we have a gas which is made up of monotonic molecules or single atoms, then we'd say that the internal energy of that gas is given by 3 over 2 nKbT.